hello guys welcome to c learning with new video today's video i will show you how to create vlan the basic vlan configuration and intra vlan configuration how to communicate within the vlans so we have this topology so we are going to start so first of all we will assign ip to pcs so there is ip plan to pc1 there is ip 192.168.0.2 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.252 because sorry 252 because this is the subnetting because there is 30 so we borrow the 6 bits so in ip uh, class c if we borrow 6 bits so it the subnet mask will be 30 so that's why we put 252 how the pc to pc2 192.168.0.664 pc2 and 255.255.255.252 so remember this practice your subnetting One ninety two one sixty eight zero dot three for PC three. This is the IP and sorry zero dot and the subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two fifty two. One ninety two one sixty eight zero dot seven. Dot seven and subnet mask is two five five dot two five five two five five dot two fifty two. So we have given the IP to PCs. Now we will create VLANs. First of all, we will change the system name, system name, system view, system name as switch one. so we will create vlan 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 patch we will use vlan patch command for creating multiple vlan 100 and 200 so we have created so first of all we will go to the interface g0/0/1 on this interface of switch and we will give the uh, So we have to do the trunk interface of switch one. This interface zero 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 one to trunk make it trunk. So we will make a port link type link type trunk port trunk allow pass VLAN hundred and two hundred because it will carry the data of VLAN hundred. as well as we like uh, 200 to over this link so we will make this link trunk and which carry the vlan of 100 and 200 okay and now we will go to this interface uh interface g0/0/2 and uh, port link type is access because it carry only the data of one vlan so it's the access link and port default vlan is 100 because its pvid is 100 so we will go to vlan now we will go on interface 3 and sorry g into e0 03 and port link type is access and port Default VLAN is 200 because it's a part of 200. So we assign this port as the part of VLAN 200. Now all set here. Now we will go to second switch. System view. System name as switch two. Interface Ethernet. Interface, 
and now we will make this interface as trunk interface because it carry the data same as 100 vlan and 200 vlan 200 so this link should be trunk otherwise with this link will not carry the data of this vlan so port link type is trunk type is trunk and port trunk allow pass vlan 100 and 200 100 and 200 okay now we will go to VLAN uh, on we will go at this interface so we will clear uh, interface ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 2 and port link type is what? port link type is access and port default VLAN is 100 because this port is a part of oh sorry it does not create VLANs here so first we will create VLAN uh, VLAN batch VLAN batch 100 and 200 ok and interface ethernet 0 slash slash 0 slash 2 and port link type is type is axis port default vlan is 100 this port so we will go to interface 3 and port link type is axis and port port default vlan port default oh, oh, default vlan default vlan is 200 so So we create the VLAN and we assign this port as the VLAN, the part of VLAN 200 and this port is the part of two, VLAN 200. Now this is the intra VLAN routing basic VLAN configuration. VLAN 100, the PC which belong to VLAN 100 is only com can communicate with the VLAN 100 and PC with the VLAN 200 can only communicate with 200 all these are instruction here which i implement in it now we will ping the pc one himself 192.168.0.2 and pc pinging it's on ip now we will ping the neighbor pc2 pc2 ip is 6 0.6 it's not teachable because it's not belong to the same VLAN now we will ping the PC 3 this IP is 3 now it's pinging this PC pinging this PC because it's the same VLAN belong to same VLAN so it's pinging but it's uh, PC 1 is not reachable for PC 2 so we will ping PC 4 192.168.0.7 so it's reachable so pc2 pc4 is reachable for pc2 because they belong to the same vlan now we will ping pc ping pc2 192.168.0.6 so it's pinging pc4 is pinging pc2 so they are both are belong to the same vlan so they are both are reachable so thank you for this video see you